You know, there's a few tools that I use as an arborist that I do most of my work with. This is one of them, the handsaw. Sometimes I'll be up in a tree all day long working comfortably with a handsaw, making 90% of the cuts I do in the whole tree. Might be a few chainsaw cuts, or might be a few hand printer cuts, and a little bit of work with the pole printer, but this is my primary tool. Also in woodworking, a handsaw is a valuable tool, but it seems to be something that is almost long forgotten. Let me show you my handsaw in my shop and I'll, I'll explain it. All right, I've got a nice wide slab and I want to make a nice clean end cut on both sides. Now a lot of people say, well, grab a skill saw or you can take it over and muscle it through the table saw or maybe even a band saw. Well, I don't always like my power tools and there are certain times that a hand tool really is a better choice. And I want to show you why. You note that I made a nice clean scribe here. And when I use the hand saw, I can make subtle adjustments. As soon as you get it started, you know, let's take the protective bit off here. Oh, I wanted to point out this is not just any hand saw. This is a antique hand saw that's well over a hundred years old and it's had a lifetime of use. It's been sharpened and it's going to cut really nice. So you get the saw started. That's probably the hardest part about the whole thing. You have to make a couple of light back cuts just to get a little tiny bit of a kerf going. And I want to show you how fast this is. This board is over 20 inches wide and it's, it's over an inch thick. It's about an inch and a quarter thick. And uh, as soon as I get rolling on this, it's going to go pretty fast. By the time I'd gotten the skill saw out and gotten everything marked up, um, I probably would have had it cut, but I don't think it would be quite as accurate because I can see clearly as I'm cutting. And if I need to make a little bit of an adjustment, I can twist my wrist a hair and it straightens itself out. And I just keep working along slowly so that I don't get out of control. And 99% of the time when I make a handsaw cut, I get it right on. It's dead on the money. And it's fast, you, know, you can see in it. If you look at the cut, you don't have a lot of tear out. Sometimes a, a circular saw will rip out really bad pieces on the bottom. See that piece? Only 53 seconds, start to finish. Beautiful, beautiful saw. I, I love my hand saws. You can see it's a, it's a nice wide piece of pine here. It's not uh, oak or anything like that, but if it was oak, I could cut it just as well. Now, I want to talk a little bit about hand saws. When I was a boy, oh wait, you see that little nib up there, that little tiny button? That is a, that is something that you'll find on antique hand saws, but you don't find them on new saws. And there's a lot of discussion as to the purpose of that little nib. So if you know what that nib is for, or think you know, post it in the comments. We're going to get all kinds of different answers there. But anyway, back to hand saws and using hand saws. When I was a boy, I'd work in the shop. My grandfather always got out the hand saw and he'd put his boards up on a couple of saw horses. And I, I was just impressed by how not only powerful it felt to see him cut through these pieces, but just how quick and how efficient he was. There were carpenters back in the day that built houses, making every single one of their cuts with a handsaw. Sure, it's slower, but you know what? The accuracy of the cuts was right on. And if you look at an old house built in the 20s or the 30s, and look at the construction of the framing, you will be so impressed. When you look at something today, every board is off by oh, a quarter of an inch or even more, sometimes as much as a half an inch. And here's a final tip. If you have your saw sharp and you have it clean, no rust, you have to have that real nice and clean, wax up that saw. You wax it up real good with a good paste wax and it does two things. It protects it from rust, but it also makes cutting just glide through. I, I, I tell you, it is so much easier if you put a little bit of wax on your saw. Try it. So if you've got an old hand saw, tune it up, sharpen it, and Get used to using your handsaw. Hey, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Have a great day.